Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. You ready to dig into some more deep stuff today? Are you ready to have a, a little bit of a, a letdown and a little bit of a debate in your mind? You know, we're going to be doing Job for a while now. There are, four, was it 41 chapters in Job? 41, 42? It is 42, okay. So, and a lot of it's pretty heavy stuff. So, thank you guys for those of you who are hanging in there. And you know, this life with all the dark things that go on it, it's good to look that darkness right in the face and say, okay, it exists, it's here, and here's the biblical way to deal with it. So let's deal with one very particular thing tonight. It, 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 I'm reading Job chapter 8, and this thing just, it hit me like a brick upside the head. It's verse 4. Um, Bildad is talking to Job now, and he says, If your sons have sinned against him, he has cast them away for their transgression. Now, let, let me just hold on for a minute here. This dude lost everything, including his family in one day, and that's what you're going to say to him? Are you serious? What? This is the man who refused to curse God. He's asking, why is God doing this? You know, I, I haven't sinned. I, I don't know why this is happening, but I know it's not because of any sin I had. He was even willing to take some adversity from the Lord's hand. Even though he ended up cursing the day of his birth, he never spoke against God or cursed God or lost his faith in God. He, yeah, he wondered why. He, won, he wondered what the heck was going on. He was like, God, why are you doing this? That's understandable. But then for you, for him, or you if you've done it, to go up and like, yeah, the, if they sinned. That's probably why they died. What? He has no idea whether Job's kids were in sin or not. And he doesn't honestly know whether Job was in sin or not. Job is saying, no, everything was, I, I, I know for myself I'm good. And he prayed for his kids every day. Every day, every week. It's in Job chapter 1, talking about how, you know, just in case they've sinned, let me put up a sin offering for them, just in case. It was, um, it was Job chapter 1, verse 5. So it was when the days of feasting had run their course that Job would send and sanctify them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did regularly. Okay, so it wasn't daily or weekly. It was whenever, um, whenever they had feasts together at the appointed day. Whenever, whenever those th days of feasting were done, Job did that offering for them. And apparently he did it on a fairly regular basis. So, under circumstances like that, under circumstances like that, you're still going to be like, well, they probably had some sin in their life anyway. That's probably why God killed them. Oh, double face palm there. Oh my gosh. It just, like, when someone's mourning the, the loss of someone, don't pull stuff like that. I never really understood until this time through how bad Job's comforters were, how bad his friends really did speak to him in his time of greatest suffering. I, 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 the first time I read it, I didn't get it. This time that I'm going through it, it's like, oh my gosh, are you serious? So, yeah, don't do that. When someone's grieving the loss of a loved one, don't do that. Just don't do that to them. And again, I've read through the Bible twice. Just I said I've read through this once, even though I've read through the Bible twice. I think I missed Job my second time through. It was like I was going to come back to it, and for some reason I didn't. So whatever that was all about. I was going to try to read it in one day, and I simply didn't get a chance to do that. So I ended up not reading it until here we are my third time around, and here I am. And I know that's a tangent, but I was just like, I don't want to contradict what I said in some earlier video. That I've read through the Bible once, but I've only read through Job, or I've read through the Bible twice, and I've only read Job once. So that's a little bit weird for me to say. But one more thing on this note, not only, you know, to give some due consideration, especially when you don't know the people's circumstances, I do know a man at one point in my life where he lost his, his father, one family member, and one is enough. One's enough to turn your world upside down. Well, he did curse God. He did lose faith. And after he lost faith, he, it was, and it wasn't immediately, it was a slow, gradual decline. It was like over a few days, weeks, and months. 
he's just stop believing certain things, stop believing certain things, certain teachings of the church, certain practices of the church, and eventually he got to the point where he started doubting God altogether. And it was at that point when he did start cursing God that I said, dude, maybe God took your dad home. Because his dad was a Christian. I said, maybe your dad, maybe God took your dad home to heaven with him because God saw this heart problem that you have and he wanted to expose it. And his response was, if that is the reason that God did it, he can suck my cock. That, that's not something I would normally say in a preaching video, but that is what he said verbatim. And I don't apologize. That was done. I did not say that immediately after his father died. And I also wasn't doing any conjecturing. I never accused his father, the one who died of sin. I saw him clearly in sin. And I called him on it as someone who had been a good friend of mine and a brother in Christ. I was like, you know, you've got a problem. And I said it very bluntly. Job's friends, there was no obvious problem in Job. There was no obvious problem in Job's children. They just assumed, well, this must be the case. And therein lies the horrendous sin that there is. I don't believe what I said was wrong. I believe what Job's friend said to him was incredibly wrong. So, and I can see where some people would be like, Brandon, you're still out of line. I'd love to know what you think down in the comments below. Chat me up. Let me know what you think. And guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Job is going to be... It has been day after day of just wham, 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 and it's probably not going to let up anytime soon. So hopefully this is ministering to y'all. I love reading about, I just, I love this book because it's so real about how rough this life and this world can be. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.